Kuzu Zangpo and warm greetings to all the ICT teachers across the country. Today, I will be presenting on how to deliver an ICT lesson based on the ICT curriculum framework. Before we look at the ICT lesson, let us quickly revisit the ICT curriculum framework. In the ICT curriculum framework, there are three goals. The first goal is for students to possess functional ICT knowledge and skills to perform productively and responsibly in knowledge society. The second goal is for students to possess foundational knowledge and skills to pursue potential post-secondary educational and work-related opportunities in the field of ICT. And the third goal is for students to engage in coding to develop logical reasoning and algorithmic thinking. To achieve these three goals, there are five key competencies followed by eight guiding principles in the curriculum framework. There are also five key stages in the curriculum framework starting from class PP till class 12. There are four broad strands in the ICT curriculum framework. The four strands are A. Technology Operations B. Communication and Collaboration C. Safety and Ethics and finally D. Coding All these strands are equally distributed into key stages and in every key stage there are key stage competency-based standards and to achieve the key stage standards, there are class-wise competency-based standards. For the class-wise standards, there are also objectives, which involves knowledge, skills, and value-related objectives. And these standards are delivered to the students through certain pedagogies, followed by the assessment and reporting on the content delivered to the students. So in an ICT curriculum, overall, teachers will have to understand what are the competencies listed in the ICT curriculum framework, plan the pedagogies and assessment on how to deliver the content, skills and the values in order to achieve the class-wise and key stage standards. Now let us look at how to deliver an ICT lesson. To deliver any ICT lesson, teachers will have to first look at the ICT curriculum framework, which means they will have to go through the key stage competency-based standards and the class-wise competency-based standards. Number two, list the objectives to achieve the class-wise standards. Number three, identify the key topics or concepts to be covered. Number four, decide the pedagogy or strategy for the lesson delivery. Number five, gather resources either online or offline to be given to the students. Number six, design activities and assessments to be carried out to check students learning or understanding number seven then decide to record the assessment and provide feedback to the students overall ict lessons begins by referring to the classwise standards given in the ict curriculum framework let us now look at an example of delivering an ict lesson for this i have selected key stage two class six strand b communication and collaboration and the key stage standard listed is use email to communicate and collaborate and the class-wise standard is communicate with colleagues and teachers through email for collaboration the next step is list down the objectives for this standard i have listed some objectives number one is explain the features of an email which is knowledge oriented objective number two is create an email account in gmail which is skill oriented objective Number three is send emails to friends and teachers to share their work or discuss on a project. Again, is skill-oriented objective. And number four is students appreciate the benefits of using emails for communication in the digital age, which is value-oriented objectives. After listing the objectives, the next step is to identify the topics to be covered. So I have listed the topic here is what is an email, benefits of email, creating an email account, sending and replying an email, use of emails in the digital world, and finally, limitations of email. The next step is to identify the pedagogy for this standard. One strategy that can be taken by the teachers is a student center, where teachers make students to watch a YouTube video. So in this case, there's a six minute YouTube video on email and then ask students to make notes so that they can share their understanding to the class. This can be a blended mode where students watch the video at home, make list, and then bring the notes in the class for discussion. Second strategy could be a teacher-led strategy where teachers will 
show his email account, explain how he uses the email to communicate with others for both personal and professional work, and then show the steps on how to create email and send emails. Another pedagogy which is very important and relevant to our school context is the interdisciplinary, where the ICT teacher can collaborate with English teacher to make students write a good email and send to teachers or friends based on a topic or a theme. So the fourth pedagogy for this, this standard is divide students into groups of four and ask them to complete the given questions, which is inquiry-based strategy. The questions could be, how do you create an email account? What are the benefits and limitations of email? What can you do with an email account? How can students make good use of email? In this, teachers can make students make a presentation at the end of their discussion. Some of the activities that can be given based on this pedagogy is number one is send an email to the class teacher requesting for a leave to visit the hospital, similar to a leave later. Activity two can be send an email with attachments to your group members on how to complete the group activity. Once the objective has been listed, topics has been identified, and the pedagogy and activities for students have been decided, the next step is to look for the resources. In this case, on the email, there are lots of YouTube videos on the internet. You can find there are videos on how to create email accounts. There are videos on how to use proper email features. The second resource is the online web pages. There are so many websites from where you can find information on email also on how to create email accounts and also on the proper use of email. The third resource that you can find for this particular topic is from the DCPT content repository. This website provides a list of resources, mostly online resources on the topic. Number fourth resource that you can use for this topic on email is the ICT literacy textbook for class 6 and class 7 where you will get information on creating email and also on how to use emails properly. After resources has been identified, the final thing in this lesson is to identify the assessment. Now in this case, the assessment of the email can be done one is through observation where teachers observe students uh, record of using the email or maybe their navigation on the online websites in order to learn more about email. Number two is conversation, where teachers talk with the students about what they know and what they don't know about emails. This can be a one-to-one -one interview. Or the other way is to make students present their work on emails to the class. From there, teachers will identify their strength and their understanding of the email and then make record. Number three, which is more, more appropriate in this topic or in this competency is the digital artifact where teachers will have to come up with a rubric to assist students' email sent to the friends and teachers. In this case, teachers can also invite English teachers to check the quality of the content written in the email, whether the language used are proper or correct or how the message has been communicated to the other person. So the digital artifact component of assessment in this, uh, in this competency is very, very relevant. To conclude on delivering an ICT lesson, all ICT teachers will have to first know the key stage competencies followed by the class-wise competencies. Then on the competencies, the class-wise competencies, Teachers will have to list down the learning objectives based on the knowledge, skills and values that we expect students to learn. And on the learning objectives, teachers will also have to identify the topics which are core concepts or topics which are current and relevant to the competencies. And the next one is teachers will have to identify the resources, gather resources and provide it to the students for reference for learning or as a part of an activity. Resources can be online, resources can be textbooks, resources can be self-curated, or resources can be a list of information or the list of websites that can be given to the students. 
then it has to be followed by the pedagogy the decision on what kind of pedagogy teachers will be using in order to achieve that competency so it could be either interdisciplinary inquiry based project based or a blended mode of learning then finally once the task has been assigned through the selected pedagogy the task has to be assessed and in ICT curriculum learning activities of the students are assessed through observation conversation digital artifact and even testing and this assessments will have to be recorded and then made for made available as a part of reporting to the students and their parents at the end of the year so we have to know that in delivering an ICT lesson the ICT curriculum drives the learning pedagogy resources and finally the assessment with this I have come to the end of the presentation I hope you have learned something on delivering the ICT lesson thank you so much for listening and if you have any question or queries do kindly contact me. Cut in chair.